Hi, I'm Jeremiah Mahadevan, and you're watching the Practical Motorhome video review of the new double back camper. Now, as you can see, it's a VW T5 based elevating roof camper. Those of you with sharp eyes will notice that this is the pre facelift T5 transporter, but all the new ones that double back sells from now on will have the new Euro 5 post facelift based vehicle. It just so happens that this is the first one that they've built. Open up the tailgate, and you'll find a huge rear loading area here, which is perfect for storage space when you're on the go. It's big enough that you won't need to mess about with bike racks or even a trailer if you need to store something. But by now, you're probably wondering, that's nice and all, all that storage, but where exactly do I sleep and eat? That's where this van has an ace up its sleeve. Open the sliding door, and there's a button down here. Press it, and this pod slides out effectively doubling the living space in this small camper. Now, a long wheelbase VW transporter is 5.92 meters long. This adds an additional two meters when you're on site, so you've got a 7.92 meter long van. And as it slides out, electrically, there are two electric corner steadies which come down and self-level to ensure that the rear end stays on an even footing. Amazingly, this rear pod weighs only 130 kilograms, and that's because it's made of an aluminum composite material, which, besides being really light, is also really strong. So when it's extending, this thing can hold up to 300 kilograms, and when it's all the way out with the legs down, it holds 600 kilograms. And here's my favorite bit. The tailgate still works. As you can see, there's a bed here, which folds up against the sides when you're using this as storage, and you can keep using this as storage even when you're on site because there's another drop-down bed up in the roof. Inside, you've got a functional layout that's surprisingly spacious. You've got a three-person bench seat here and a single seat over here, and they both flip up when the back is in. And uh, there's a lounge table that goes here and which stows under the um, drop-down bed when it's not in use. It's actually a really nice area. You can sit here and look out of the view of the sliding door. And over here, you've got a basic kitchen, but which covers all the bases. There's a two burner hob and a sink and a compressor fridge over here, which runs on 12 volt. Now, you can sleep four people in the double bank, thanks to the double bed at the back and the drop down bed up top here. But as you can see, there are only two single seats in the cab and there aren't any single seats anywhere else. So you can only travel with two people. However, you can specify this van with a double seat here on the passenger side and the single driver's seat so that you can travel with three belted passengers and sleep four people. And that's the double back. It costs just under 55,000 pounds new and it's unlike anything else on the market. It's so unique in fact that it's being built by a race engineering firm who have partnered with double back and when they're not building open wheeled carbon fiber bodied races they'll be making these things. 